okay so i have imported in vector shooter only we didn't have uh, imported the ai version of in vector because we are using emerald ai also we have uh, imported emerald ai system and uh, after importing if you play the game you can see we will not face any type of error so everything is working fine so now we can just move further and uh, we'll see that how we can uh, set up AI um, with Invector okay so as you already know that if we open the Invector third person controller we have shooter template melee combat etc etc and if we open the shooter template here we can found some uh, nice demos so for example this is a demo uh anyhow we can get some demo so i will just uh, get some uh this one is uh, this is top down and this one is the shooter with inventory okay so whenever we will uh open this scene uh, now you can see it's a simple in vector shooter template and if we open the demo scene if we play the demo scene you will see that we can just play around with in vector and everything is working absolutely fine okay so now we will bring emerald ai here definitely in next videos i will show you different uh, uh, methods to create ai system and uh, we will create some advanced ais as well and custom ais as per our need but for this specific video where we want to learn uh, integration between invector and emerald ai we are just bringing the emerald ai enemy to our scene so for enemy if we go to middle day i uh, i think in demo we have this demo source folder so if we open this demo source folder we will have uh, prefabs and inside prefabs we have ais so here you can see that we have this type of ai chomper or this is also AI, this is also AI system. So we have different type of AIs. So let's bring this spitter AI maybe, okay? And we have bring this AI to our system. And now if you play the game, you will see that uh, this AI will not attack on the player and uh, other things as well so you can see that our player is moving here and uh, this ai uh, will move around it will not uh, move towards the player and it will not act as we want also if we shoot this you can see that it's not dying at all okay so we have to make some uh, basic changes, uh, basic uh, settings in, in vector. So we have this melee AI shooter. Also we have the player. Okay. So first of all, we will go to shooter player, and uh, here inside the uh, inside this shooter manager, we'll go to damage layers, and in damage layers, you should select the enemy here okay so it's very important if you not select enemy you the player can't damage the enemy okay the other thing is we will go to spitter and the uh, we will just change the tag and the layer to uh, for our invector so as you know that uh, whenever we use invector we have to create it uh, for enemy we have to create tag of enemy so we will just change the uh, tag to enemy and layer to enemy as well okay so now this is these are changed now we'll just go to detection and tags system 
and uh, here you can see we have uh, detections and tags actually for every enemy the tag system is a little bit different so we'll just select this option and then we'll click on tag options and here you can see emerald unity tag so we'll select enemy and detection layers we will select player okay and uh, i think uh, yeah player and after that follower tag we will select player that is good and uh, that's it okay so now we have selected uh, uh formal ai objects okay that's fine so now uh, we have selected the right tags so now we have to do some uh, programming which is not very difficult very easy in the scripts and we have these four scripts which we have to change so first of all we will select the milli manager you can uh, actually open this one or this one it's up to you and for searching the scripts you can just click here and you can add the milli ma nature like this and you will find the exact uh, script okay and then you can open this script into visual studio code and now i will show you that what we have to do so for this first script the milli miniature you have to come to line 158 around uh, here you will find this function public virtual wide on damage hit and after on damage hit dot invoke dot uh, hit info you have to type this line of code so i have just commented emerald ai if hit info dot target collider so this is the code okay so let's see this is the first line if and then in brackets you have to write this line of code till I will just move it very slowly so you can read it till here okay so this code is necessary for this script after that you can save this script and then we will open the second script which is v projectile in this script you will move uh, at 72 uh, number line and the function will be protected virtual wide update and here on this line after this line damage dot damage value equal to max damage okay you have to type this line of code so it's around uh, almost the similar just we have changed this uh, after this we have not equal to null and this is also the same so you can copy and paste the uh, code from here to here and then you can make your changes so here you can see we will just write the same code but uh, or at that player we will stop we will not add transform or 400 so this is the second script after that we have the third script which is v explosive script you can found that as well and uh, on v explosive we have one ton number line after these colliders i game object apply damage and null we have to write the same code and uh, everything is same actually till here just we have to change the first uh, thing to colliders and these uh, brackets and then i okay this is i so that's it this is the third one and in the last one where we have emerald ai player damage script emerald ai player damage script okay so in this one uh, we have to do 
uh, only the non commenting thing uh, because the code is already written so when you will come here uh, you will see that uh, we will have on uh, on this line 35 line we will have this type of comment damage in vector player damage amount and for UFPS if you are using UFPS system you can uh, uncomment this one if you are using RF FPS you can uncomment this one so we are using in vector so we'll just uncomment this line of code okay so you don't have to write this one uh, it will be available already available here after that we will have one more function which is void damage in vector player and you don't have to write this function this will be also commented like this okay so you will uh, just go to 63 number line hopefully and you will find like this so this uh, function but it's commented so you have to uncomment this function as well and after that we will save everything we will save every script and after saving every script we will move back to unity and hopefully now we will have a player which will attack us hopefully let's see so now let's select some gun here and E and you can see that uh, enemy is moving towards us and he will attack hopefully you can see yeah he is attacking and you can see that we are damaging actually okay so if we now we can also shoot uh, this enemy so you can see yeah so this enemy was very simple and it has very low energy that's why it's just die okay you can definitely create uh, your own enemies or we have already uh, build enemies as well in uh, emerald ai so from the next video we will learn that how we can create our own dynamic enemies and uh, that will be the monsters or other things skeletons etc and also we will create some shooter ai system as well let's meet in next video allah hafiz